Okay, so I left off on number seven with Miss Spider and um, the centipede. I will continue. Um, last time I was very tired, so I'll continue this time. Um, okay, so as I was saying, the ro the romance is more fan fiction than real. I happen to like them as a cute couple. The woman is fine. Okay, I think I, I think I made it already read this. Um, this is the music. <laughs> Okay. Uh, number six is Chicken Little and Abby. Um, yeah, they are so cute, man. Th this is like one of the cutest ones. That's why they're number six. I, it's like it's just so cute. It's Chicken Little and it's the Ugly Duckling. It's just like so adorable to me. The relationship is not only funny, but probably one of the cutest I've ever seen. Chicken Little and the Ugly Duckling as a romantic pairing, awesome. Yeah, I just thought it was the cutest thing when he kisses her at the end. I mean, I didn't really expect it so much. I knew they would have some kind of romantic thing, but it was just. This is the cutest thing, you know? Um, oh, here's another cute couple. Number five, Cornelius and Franny. Um, they are just so cute together. They have, like, different ambitions. You know, she wants to teach frogs music, and he wants to, you know, improve the world, you know? They're just, they're just awesome together. Um, though their love story... I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Though their love story may not be very popular, it's definitely the cutest I've ever seen. After seeing this, his future, the boy genius realizes his wife and the two both are quirky and sure innovative and possible ideas. That's why they're one of the cutest couples in my opinion. I think they're best couples, something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I really like them. I love this movie. In case you don't know, I, I don't know if I've said it before, but I love this movie. Um, this is the music. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, Megara and Hercules. Oh my god, they're the cutest Disney couple in my opinion as far as, like, as far as the couples go, like, in the actual Disney movies, it's like, that's why they're number four. They're just, like, so cute. I love this movie. I've said it before, I know. Laugh. I love this movie in general, and I love Hercules and Megara as a couple. Hercules represents a man who has had many achievements, yet is purely humble and willing to make sacrifices for the woman he loves. Megara represents a strong woman who has been through hard times and has the strength to be a cynic, only to be swept off her feet at the end. That's why I love it. Yep, a lot of people underrate this couple, but I really love them. That's why they're number four, you know. I'm sorry. I, I love to put these Britney Spears songs. I'm sorry. They're annoying. Yeah, so, they're just so cute, and they're like a fix of Felix and Sergeant Collin from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh my god, I did not expect these two to be a couple, I'll tell you that. When I went to go see the movie, I did not expect these two to be a couple. I was just like, when I was blown away, when I fell in love with her, I was like tripping out on it. It was so cute, though. It's definitely one of the cutest ones, but number three. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the funniest couples I've ever seen together. It trips me out on how one video game Mario-type character can become from a totally different video game in love with the hard or hardcore badass tall woman <laughs> character. It's hilarious. I love it. Yeah, I love this couple. They're just so cute together. I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm too being too romantic. I am. Watch out for Lopez. Uh, Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, uh, this is mainly up there because of how. Odd the pairing is. I like odd pairings, in case I haven't mentioned before. I like how they're two different, you know, he's a rabbit and she's this really sexy woman. I think it's just funny. To this day, it trips me out on how a cartoon idiotic rabbit ends up with a soul trained sexy fan fatale. Altogether, the relationship is hilarious, but it's indeed very cute. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up. They, they kind of same in, in a way. They both have red hair, they both wear red. <laughs> I've noticed that. I don't know if other people have. Uh, number one, Cassandra and Icarus. Now, this, this couple, supposedly, that's, by the way, it's from Hercules the Animated Series, in case you don't know who they are. They're, they're basically Hercules' best friends when he's training to be a hero. Um, you know what? They're not a couple. Um, obviously somebody, not just me, but somebody else had portrayed them as a couple because this is just fan art right here. Um, they're not a couple. Um, I don't, I don't really expect them to be a couple, but I like them, I like their pairing together, you know what I'm saying? I like them as characters together because, here, it'll, it'll explain in the description. Hang on. 
Yes, believe it or not, this happens to be my favorite couple. And do you want to hear the funny part? They're not even a couple. No, if they are, it's all fan fiction, and that's just the way I like it. If a human being was to see these two in action, it is hilarious. The male character constantly pines for the female character's affection, only to be turned down several times, and the more she yells at him, the more attractive he is to her. In Greek mythology, there are two different people coming from two entirely unrelated stories and backgrounds, and I happen to think that their pairing is not only hilarious, but extremely adorable. Yeah, uh, they're not even really a couple. I'm glad they're not a real couple. I'm glad they're just, you know, have that weird relationship with each other, and it's just like, uh, maybe that's just me. Like, I, I know people would be like, well, if they're not a couple, why are you putting them up there? Well, I'm putting them up there because... You know, it's it's just it's just funny. If people were to see it, it's just funny how the relationship is. It's maybe the reason why I like it so much is because Cassandra has more of a dominant role, more of a masculine role, while Icarus has more of a feminine role somehow. I don't know how to explain it, but it's explained in it on Wikia, you know, how how the relationship is and it's just like it's just so funny. They're just so funny together. Um, but that's my opinion. If you don't like it, well, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to please the world. That's just my opinion. So Thank you. I'm glad I got to do the rest of this, so thank you.